assalamu alaikum to all the students and a very warm welcome to you all as we have done the reinforcement lecture of language before the empty of language so we are going to start today the reinforcement lecture of literature also okay uh, in your literature empty you are having two lessons from david copperfield novel 2 uh, and 3 okay so i am just uh, combined all uh, the overview of, of the chapters of both the lessons okay two and three ke jitne bhi chapters hain we, i have all combined the chapters like three chapters from lesson number 2 and i think six chapters of lesson number 3 okay so i am giving you today the whole overview of both the chapters so now this is actually lecture number 9 okay we are having lesson number 2 and 3 away from home and i start work and first of all we will start lesson number 2 these are some important characters of lesson number 2 like mr murdstone okay who is the step father of david clara who was the mother of david mr crickel who was the uh, who was the owner of uh, salem house okay where david was sent forcefully to to be educated over there then mr mel who was a teacher he was very kind with david but he was compelled and he was uh, under the uh, under the order of mr crickel so he was not able to do anything uh, to give any favor to david Uh, by himself then james stairforth over there who was the first friend at salem house of david and tommy treddles they both were the first friends of david at the salem house now first we are having the overview of lesson number 2 david left his house as he was forcefully sent to the salem house okay his mother and he were very disheartened at the time of leaving okay because he was the only child of his mother so mr murdstone who was the step father of david he was sending david to the salem house but he was not willing to go over there as well as mother uh, they uh, mr murdstone and miss murdstone his sister they both agreed clara that he is a wicked child and he should send out of the town or out of the um, same uh, area so that he would be away from the uh, house and he will be able to learn more and more about uh, whatever he has to do in the future now after covering half a mile the carriage stopped and pigotti who is the maid servant of david and clara get into it to give some cup cakes to david also she gave some coins from her side as well as on his mother's behalf okay he gave some coins to uh, david on herself and on his mother's behalf and there was a purse which had three bright silver coins in it which um, david could see pigotti had polished until they shone okay it was the last paragraph of the second chapter and page number 8 Okay, but it contained something else, even more precious to me. Two more coins, larger than the others, means the Pegotti gave two coins. Sorry, three coins to David, and two more coins were over there in the purse, and they were very uh, more shiner than the other two, and they were also larger than the others, folded in a bit of paper. And on the paper, it was written that <clears throat> in his mother's writing that the words for Davy with my love. So because um, Clara was not able to show his love and uh, was not able to express her feelings. Okay, towards David. That's why she folded two coins and written something over there and gave it to Pegotti to give it to David. He reached London and thought to run towards home from there, but thought that. who would welcome him except pigotti means he tried to run from the london because he was waiting there for mr mel that he will come and he will take to he will take david to the salem house but before mr mel was coming there was some time for david to stay over there so he was feeling that why sh why not should i go towards home back and Uh, but he thought that nobody will welcome him over there because his mother was under pressure of mr murdstone obviously mr murdstone was not uh, very kind with him miss murdstone was also a very cross looking lady so he was she was also not uh, willing to keep david at home 
then only pegotti was over there but pegotti is a maid and there is no uh, you may say there is no value of maid over there so nobody was able to listen to him listen to her theek hai to he decided not to run he he was thinking about to run but he thought that who would welcome him except pegotti theek hai pegotti ke alawa wahan par aur usko koi warm welcome nahi dega usko koi accept hi nahi karega then mr mel came to pick him and took him to the salem house then mr mel came over there and took him to the salem house it was a square brick building salem house was the square brick building which was empty as well as all the boys had gone for holidays because it was a holiday time okay there is a holiday time in the whole uh, session so all the boys all the students of the school they visit their parents their sibling in that period for one month maybe or two months jaise hamare paas summer vacation hota hai to they have also a selected time okay to all the boys were not over there because they had gone for the holidays nobody was no no the uh, none of the boy over there then mr crickle was the owner of the school he was also on the holiday okay mr mel showed him the classroom where he found a notice okay david found a notice over there and thought that there is a dog because it was written on the notice that um what was written on the uh, on the notice uh, be careful he bites okay so he thought that there must be a large dog and he jumped over the desk and stand over, stood over there then mr mel came inside the classroom then he saw why david is standing on the desk so he mr mel told him that no dog is there and he had to wear the notice on his back he was not uh, willingly doing this uh, okay mr mel was not uh, willingly doing this but he said what did mr mel said that there is no dog it refer to a boy i have to put the notice on your back copperfield i am sorry to do this but i must because he was ordered to do that okay now this was the first chapter the second chapter is david Uh, sorry the notice he now we are talking about what happened when the when david uh, wore uh, the notice on his back that what had happened with him uh, during the whole uh, period when he was wearing the notice the notice david uh, david wore that notice um, actually i can't see what is written yes david wore the notice and it was with him everywhere he went ओके वो जहाँ जहाँ भी जाता ही वॉज वेयरिंग द नोटिस ही कैन नॉट टेक इट आउट और टेक इट ऑफ फ्राम हिज बैग देन मिस्टर क्रिकल केम बैक एज ही हैड गॉन फॉर स्पेंडिंग हॉलीडेज विद हिज फैमिली ओके ही वॉज मिस्टर मेल सॉरी मिस्टर क्रिकल वॉज आउट ऑफ स्कूल एंड आउट ऑफ स्टेशन ऑल्सो बिकॉज ही हैड ही हैड गॉन विद हिज फैमिली विद विद हिज फैमिली टू द आउट ऑफ टाउन टू स्पेंड सम वेकेशन okay and he came after some time uh abdullah now is it clear actually wo um, when i make it jab main usko slide show pe dalu ya i change the screen to it for some time for few seconds it it is creating problem अच्छा मिस्टर क्रिकल केम बैक एस ही हैड गॉन फॉर स्पेंडिंग हॉलीडेज विद हिज फैमिली एंड कॉल डेविड इन हिज रूम वेयर डिड वेयर डेविड फाउंड मिस्टर क्रिकल एज अ क्रूअल एज हिज स्टेप फादर ओके ही वॉज एज क्रूअल एज हिज स्टेप फादर बिकॉज ही वॉज वन ऑफ द फ्रेंड यू मे से ऑफ मिस्टर मडस्टोन एंड वेन ही मेट वेन डेविड मेट विद मिस्टर क्रिकल ही फाउंड हेम द सेम विद द सेम बिहेवियर एज मिस्टर मडस्टोन ओके ही यूज टू विस्पर ओनली like his voice is so slow that uh, people think that he is whispering he is talking but he has got a very slow voice he was not able to speak properly and normally with the other people according to the uh, students david asked him to take the notice off from his bag but he was not allowed to do so okay means he asked with the with mr crickle that can i take this uh, uh, notice off from my bag but when he stood up when mr crickle stood up from his chair david ran from there and he stopped uh, when he found his bedroom okay phir wo wahan ja ke kafi dara hua sa bed par lay gaya and he was not able to uh, talk to anybody and he was shivering because of fear of mr crickle meanwhile 
voice had started to come back okay i slowly slowly gradually the students are coming tommy traddles and james steerforth who was the uh, james steerforth was the the was the oldest student of the class okay he was 6 year older uh, than uh, david and tommy traddles they were both become first friend at salem house school of david all the boys made jokes of the notice but after some time david found that joke a game and they all enjoyed over there okay Tommy Traddles um, introduced the game to the other boys, and they all enjoyed. And they were having a um, an interesting game with him, with David, and with the notice. James Steerforth also helped him to spend shilling for the feast of the boys over there. Maybe they have the custom, they have the uh, you know, there is a habit of all the students that whenever the new students come to the school, they enjoyed by. taking feast from the new students so james steerforth also helped david to spend all those uh, shillings which were uh, gifted by pigotty and his mother for the feast and they all bought cakes fruits wines for the feast and they were having a very nice party at the school uh, from the side of david now the third less the third chapter of this lesson number 2 was mr mel loses control when uh, all the boys were making so much noise in the class so mr mel lost control and he was also dismissed mr mel tried to save david from mr crickle all the time as he found david very innocent because he, he was a very innocent and fearful child he was frightened of everybody because he was not having a, a very good behavior from the gentleman okay jo bhi uski zindagi mein jo bhi um, मैन आते उसके उस उनकी तरफ से उसको कोई ख़ास बिहेवियर अच्छा वाला नहीं मिल रहा होता तो ही वॉज वेरी फ्राइट एंड फ्राम ऑल द मैन सो ही वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट वेरी कम्फर्टेबल विद मिस्टर मेल एंड मिस्टर क्रिकल बोथ ऑफ दैम बट मिस्टर मेल ट्राई टू सेव हिम बिकॉज ही फाउंड डेविड वेरी इनोसेंट एंड ही हैज डन नथिंग ही वॉज जस्ट एंटर्ड एंड ही वॉज मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ मिस्टर मर्डिस मिस्टर क्रिकल वॉज ऑल्सो बिहेविंग दस इन द सेम मैनर विद डेविड ओके सो मिस्टर क्रिकल ऑल द ही वॉज सेविंग फ्राम मिस्टर क्रिकल टू डेविड ऑल द टाइम बट ही एंड ही फाउंड डेविड वेरी इनोसेंट बिकॉज ही हैड एंड डन एनी थिंग रॉन्ग वन डे ऑल द बॉयज मिसबिहेव अ लॉट विद मिस्टर मेल जेम्स स्टेफर्ड ऑल्सो ट्रीटेड हिम वेरी बैडली एंड इट मेड मी सैड मीन्स डेविड इज सेंग दैट वन डे ऑल द बॉयज वर सिंगिंग डांसिंग एंड जम्पिंग एंड दे वर मेकिंग सो मच नॉइज इन द क्लास एंड मिस्टर मेल लॉस्ट कंट्रोल ओवर देयर बट वेन ही शाउटेड मिस्टर मेल शाउट is uh, only james stewart was um, insulting mr mel and all the boys had been quiet but james stewart he continued misbehaving with mr mel and he treated him very badly as a student and uh, it made david very sad because of so much disturbance disturbance he spelling again mistake okay when uh, just a second yes because of so much disturbance mr crickle came into the class obviously when students were shouting so it was the noise was going to the principal's room also it was in the whole corridor also so mr crickle when came into the class and scolded mr mel that why you are not controlling the class why the class is out of or uh, getting out of control of you and tried and fired him sorry mr mel and fired him from the job as he couldn't control the class he just dismissed mr mel that you are not able to to teach over here quietly and students are not listening to you so you are not able to be a teacher over here so you should be you should go from here uh, a few days after this mm, on david's birthday mr crickle called david in his room and wanted to tell him something very important about his mother but at the starting when he was called david thought that mr crickle is uh, is calling me as on my birthday maybe his mother and pigotty had sent something a gift type of thing so that's why they were calling he ran away over there he ran to, towards the room of mr crickle but when he went over there when he reached to the room he found something very uh, very uh, unusual and mr crickle and mrs crickle both were over there and they were having very sad very sad uh, you know very sad feelings on his face taken when we are thinking about something or whether it is happiness or whether it is sadness so it comes on our face wo hamare face se 
प्रोमिनेंट हो जाती है तो सेम हेयर वेन डेविड वेंट इन टू द रूम ऑफ मिस्टर क्रिकल ही फाउंड दैट मिस्टर एंड मिसिस क्रिकल दे बोथ आर हैविंग सम सैड फीलिंग्स ऑन हिस ऑन देयर फेसेस एंड दे वर अबाउट दे वॉन्टेड टू अबाउट दे वॉन्टेड टू टेल समथिंग अबाउट हिज मदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो एट दैट टाइम डेन डेविड रियलाइज दैट देयर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग मिसिस क्रिकल वॉज ऑल्सो देयर एंड शी टोल्ड डेविड दैट योर मदर हैज डेड शी टू डेविड विद हर फॉर द होल डे बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली he was also a mother so he was feeling the same when uh, was david was feeling that what would be the feeling of david so he thought she thought that i should take david with uh, myself for the whole day next day david left the school and never returned because he was very much disheartened okay when mr mrs creekle told david about his mother's death and he and she was for the whole day with david but at the next day she was uh, sorry david was feeling very much disheartened and he decided to leave the school for good for his better future and um, what happened with uh, with david after that it will be told you in the lesson number 3 okay acha <clears throat> now we are going to have the overview of lesson number 3 here uh, i start work before starting this lesson if you are having any type of confusion any problem any difficult word you may uh, ask me right now regarding uh, lesson number 2 okay lesson number 2 is related if you are having any difficult word meaning or anything you can ask me right now i am giving you 2 minutes oh ho this window always disturb me acha ji nobody has got any problem Okay, now we should start lesson number three. Now I'm going to give you the overview of lesson number three. Okay, these are some important characters of lesson number three, like Mr. Mudstone, Miss Mudstone, Emily will be introduced over here, James Steerforth, Mr. Quinnen will be introduced here, Mr. Micawber, Mrs. Micawber, and Miss Percy Trotwood. They all will be introduced over here one by one as the story goes on. Now, number one. This is the first uh, chapter you may say of lesson number three. Emily hears about Steerforth. Acha, Peggotty was also dismissed after just after the funeral of Clara. Okay, जैसे ही उसका funeral जैसे उसके आखरी जो रस्मात होती हैं वो अदा की जाती हैं उसको बरी कर दिया जाता है. Then um, Peggotty was dismissed and Peggotty took David to Yarmouth with the permission of Mr. and Mrs. Murdstone. Okay. Both are give both have given the permission to Miss Pigotti to take David to Yarmouth as Pigotti also knew that that uh, Mr. and Miss Murdstone will treat David very badly just after just because it is the uh, death of Clara after the death they will not be able to uh, keep David with their wishes. Okay, so. the uh, pigotty took david to yarmouth with herself with the permission of both of them david met again emily and other family members over there he played he enjoyed also uh, and he forgot all the disheartened feelings after the death of his mother okay us sari us dukh ko thoda sa bhul jata hai david tells everybody about his salem house life obviously he was going first time after the salem house uh, leaving aur wahan par admission hone ke baad usko chhodne ke baad he was now visiting yarmouth for the first time so everybody asked david what happened over there how did you find the life of salem house he tell everything he told everything about his salem house school life he tells about his stay for also as he was a very handsome and noble and generous guy he helped him a lot so he was very much inspired by the by uh, by the james steerforth emily listens about the steerforth with full attention and keen interest she was very much interested in listening about him and she was uh, like uh, not blinking his eyelids when he was i think is listening about stefford to david she liked stefford very much and david then returned to head unfriendly home again 
to there is something written wrong acha then uh, david returned to his home okay and he found the home very unfriendly because his only friend his mother was not over there he had uh, sorry she had died and now nobody was over here to welcome david and they were very rude with david so after having all this conversation and all this uh, meeting with all the members at yarmouth he then returned to his unfriendly home again okay and he found over there very you know very alone himself he was not able to um, he was not able to find his home like when we uh, enter into the home we find our home very comfortable place okay jab bhi hum kahin bahar se ya kahin safar karke aate hain to hum apne ghar ko bahut zyada pursukoon aur aaram de pate hain ठीक है बट ही वॉज नॉट फीलिंग ओवर देयर द सेम एज वी फील ओके सो ही वॉज फाइंडिंग ही हिज होम वेरी अनफ्रेंडली एंड वेरी अनकम्फर्टेबल बिकॉज ही वॉज नॉट कम्फर्टेबल ओवर देयर नाउ द सेकेंड चैप्टर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर माई ओन लाइफ वैन ही रिटर्न दैन मिस्टर ऑब्वियसली मिस्टर मरस्टोन हैज रियलाइज दैट ही हैज लेव द एजुकेशन और सलम हाउस को छोड़ कर आ गया ही वैज नोट ही हैज़ नथिंग टू डू एंड नाउ ही विल बी ऑन अस वो हमारे ऊपर आकर पड़ जाएगा एंड वी हैव टू बिकॉज ही मेरिट लारा जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ हिस प्रॉपर्टी ओके उसकी उसका मनी हासिल करने के लिए और डेविड की प्रॉपर्टी हासिल करने के लिए तो उसने शादी की नाउ व्हेन क्लारा इज़ नॉट हियर तो डेविड को घर से निकाला इज इट वाज नॉट अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट जॉब बट नाउ व्हेन डेविड केम टू द होम अगेन दे वर वेरी फ्राइटन के अब क्या होगा नाउ वी हैव टू सेंड डेविड फ्राम हेयर अवे फ्राम हेयर यहाँ से कहीं दूर इसको भेजना होगा सो दैट वी विल बी वेरी फ्री वी विल बी फ्री एंड वी विल बी ओनिंग द हाउस बाई दैन बाई आर सेल्फ सो देर डिसाइडेड सॉरी मिस्टर मडिस्टोन एक्चुअली डिसाइडेड टू सेंड डेविड टू गिव सम जॉब ठीक है उसको यहाँ से कहीं बाहर दूर भेज दिया जाए और उसको किसी जॉब पर लगवा दिया जाए ताकि वो अपने काम में मसरूफ़ हो जाए एंड वी विल बी फ्री फ्राम टू यूज़ एनी थिंग टू यूज़ द हाउस वॉट एवर now what is um, david saying that after reaching home next day mr marston asked david to stay okay when he was having on the breakfast table he was having breakfast so david no usse kya kaha ki you should stay over here he introduced mr quinian to david as a manager of one of his company named marston and grimbase okay they are friends they were also maybe the partners but partners ka name yaha mention nahi hai so it, it is written in the book that mr quinian and mr marston they both were good फ्रेंड्स ठीक है तो मिस्टर मरिस्टोन डिसाइडेड कि वाई नॉट एज मिस्टर क्विनियन शुड टेक डेविड विद हिमसेल्फ टू द टू लंडन सो दैट ही वुड स्टार्ट हिज जॉब ओवर देयर एंड दे बोथ विल बी फ्री फ्राम डेविड एंड दे विल नॉट बी हैविंग एनी टाइप ऑफ ट्रेवल फ्राम हिज साइड ठीक है ही फोर्स डेविड टू डू सम वर्क एंड टेक हिज ओन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दे फोर्स डेविड दैट यू हैव टू टेक योर ओन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बाई योर ओन सेल्फ यू हैव टू अर्न फॉर योर ओन सेल्फ एंड लिव बाई योर सेल्फ ठीक है यू हैव टू लिव बाई योर सेल्फ वी आर नॉट एबल टू टू गिव यू एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर योर फॉर योर मतलब वॉट एवर यू आर हैविंग इन दिस लाइफ जो भी आसाइश जो भी लग्जरीज यू आर हैविंग यू आर इन्जॉइंग वी आर नॉट एबल टू गिव यू मनी फॉर दैट सो यू हैव टू अर्न मनी फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड यू हैव टू लिव बाई योर सेल्फ तो दे फोर्स लिव इट टू डू सम वर्क टू डू आर जॉब विद मिस्टर कुलियन इन द मडस्टोन एंड ग्रीनबीज विच इज़ द कंपनी नेम विच इज़ द वाइन ट्रेड कंपनी ठीक है ही आज लिव इट टू स्टार्ट आ जॉब इन मडस्टोन एंड ग्रीनबीज ओके okay. उन्होंने डेविड से कहा कि वहाँ जाके जॉब स्टार्ट की जाए अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ मिस्टर क्विनियन ही आल्सो डिनाइड टू मेक मोर एक्सपेंडिचर्स ऑन डेविड्स एजुकेशन ही सेड दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू आई एम नॉट एबल टू गिव यू मनी फॉर योर एक्सपेंडिचर्स एज वेल एज फॉर योर एजुकेशन मेरे पास इतना पैसे नहीं है कि मैं तुमको तुम्हारी एजुकेशन कम्प्लीट करवा सकूँ सो यू हैव टू अर्न योर यू हैव टू अर्न फॉर योर एंड यू हैव टू Uh, use uh, and you have to use that money that salary you will get 
for your education and for your whole expenditures whatever you are having in the life mr madstone persuaded david and sent him with mr queenian take a forcefully usko bheja diya to london to start looking for uh, looking after himself in the world now he was uh, totally dependent on him on his own self to uh, learn and to uh, earn for himself and to find his own way in the world ठीक है नाउ वॉट हैपन इन द मडिस्टोन एंड ग्रेनबीज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ओवर हेयर इट इज़ अ कंपनी बाय द रिवर ओके बाय द रिवर्स एंड इट वॉज वेरी बैड इन कंडीशन द रोटिंग फ्लोर्स एंड स्टर्स वॉज ओवर द इट वॉज अ स्ट्रेंज ओल्ड बिल्डिंग बिकॉज इट वॉज नॉट मेनटेन फॉर सो मैनी ईयर्स डेविड स्टार्टड वर्किंग देयर विद द अदर नीडी बॉयज ओके ही वॉज नॉट एक्चुअली नीडिड needy but he was compelled to be do that theek hai so the other boys who were very needy were over there they were doing the same job okay his job was to examine the used bottles holding them into the light theek hai wo usko light mein hold karke usko examine karta there must be no any uh, scratches over there there must not be a, the कोई भी रोटिन या टूटी फूटी कोई चीज़ ना हो वो बॉटल्स जो हो इट शुड बी वेरी इन अ गुड कंडीशन सो दैट इट शुड बी रिसाइकल्ड एंड रीफिल्ड एंड रीसेंड इन टू द मार्केट द फॉल्टेड बॉटल्स कुड नॉट बी यूज एंड द अदर्स वुड बी वॉश्ड एंड फिल्ड विद वाइन टू बी सेंड इन टू द मार्केट ओके वेन द बॉटल्स विच आर हैविंग फ्लॉज और फॉल्ट दे आर नॉट इन द यूज of the people they unko recycle nahi kiya jata and the others who were flawless and who were not faulted they should be washed filled with the wine and they should be packed put cork on them pack them and sent to the market it was the complete um, working was going over there at mudstone and greenbees david's job was to examine the bottles holding them up to into the light and the false bottles usko discard kar diya jata it after um, except this job he has got many other works also over there to do agar ye kaam nahi hota it could be finished it was finished to kuch aur other kaam jo hote wo usko de diye jate there were plenty of other works to do for him he was ashamed of this job because he he belonged to a very respectable family theek hai and he was belonged to he belonged to a very educated family no one has done this type of job this was very a a cheap job you may say so he was very much ashamed of his of this job and his all the hopes uh, to be a respectable person they were totally destroyed and he was not able to correct them wo usko rectify karne ki usko correct karne ki koshish bhi karta to wo nahi ho pata because he was not able uh, to get his all property from mr madstone wo itna zyada powerful nahi tha and he has not got so much money <coughs> then he met with the micobers mr quinian introduced mr micober to david who was one of the worker in the same company okay wo usko introduce karwate hain with david that he will let you a room uh, on rent and you will be living with mr micober during your job life whenever uh, up till uh, means um, till you are doing the job in mudstone and greenbees you have you will be living with mr cobber because he was he was also a very needy person and he owed a lot of money from different people so he needs money mr cobber so he was uh, uh, willingly giving a room to david on rent while doing job in london david was living in a rented room owned by mr micover he was very kind with david but a needy person too so he had to let a room to david means he was a very kind person mr micover he was not like mr quinian or mr madstone but he was a very needy also so he let a room to david on rent so that he would live over there he was he became very good friend of david also mr micover also owed a lot of money from different people and liable to pay them off as soon as possible बट ही कुड नॉट डू सो ठीक है उनके ऊपर अखराजात और उनके ऊपर जिम्मेदारियाँ इतनी थी कि दैट ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू पे दैम पे द लाइब्रेटीज ऑफ सो ही रेंटेड आउट अर होम टू डेविड सो दैट ही वुड अर्न सम मनी डेविड स्पेंड्स ऑल ऑफ हिज मनी ऑन हिज फूड बट स्टिल कुड नॉट ईट प्रॉपरली उसके पास जितनी भी अर्निंग होती सिक्स चिलिंग्स आई थिंक इट वॉज द फर्स्ट सैलरी ऑफ डेविड ओके okay, तो वो जितनी भी अर्निंग होती उसकी ए, वो उस सब को अपने खाने पीने पर लगा देता बट एंटिल दैट स्टिल ही वाज नॉट एबल टू ईट प्रॉपर्टी 
he also wandered on the streets of london but didn't share to anyone not even with peggotty means everybody to whom he will be sharing he would become worried for david okay so he was not able to share anything with anybody and uh, he was wandering on the street of london he could be a thief also he he uska jo utna baithna tha the very needy and uh, bad people were were giving the company to david but he uh, decided not to share this thing to anybody just he was passing the time now mr mukabar goes to prison as he owed a lot of money from different people so he was not able to pay them off that's why the people um, unke upar case kar diya jata hai and he was arrested at last mr mukabar owed so much money from the people that he was arrested and sent to the prison he met david in the prison and he was expected to be free in 6 weeks okay because it was a general reason of mr mukabar that he was not able to pay the money off because he was not having the enough money to pay them off वो चाहता भी तो उसके एक्सपेंडिचर्स इतने थे कि वो अपने पास से सेविंग करके उसको उनको पे दैम पे नहीं कर सकता था दैट्स वाई इट वॉज अ जनवन रीजन सो दैट्स वाई वैन मे बी द हायर अथॉरिटीज वैन दे लुक इन टू द रीजन सो दे थॉट दैट ही शुड बी फ्री इन सिक्स वीक बिकॉज ही is having a serious problem finally he was freed and started to turn his life with hopes theek hai usne kahi aur kaam karna aur apne aap ko kahi aur manwane ki koshish ki mr mukabar ne and he decided to go somewhere else and begin to start his life in a new way so that he would settle down his life with his family the mukabars decided to go to plymouth hoping something will turn up over there something will change over there so that they went to the plymouth mr mrs mukabar also showed that she is a very faithful wife <coughs> and will not leave his husband in any way wherever mr mukabar will go she will go with him mr mukabars go to plymouth acha they all with the family he went to the plymouth okay what happened over there before leaving mr mukabar gave david a valuable advice what advice he uh, he gave to david that he said that expenditure should be less than your salary so the result would be happiness if otherwise if vice versa happened like if the expenditures is <coughs> more than your salary so it would that your life would be drain okay it was a complete statement with the uh, salary in pounds it is written in your book you may read over there theek okay? hai after the micobar had gone the micobars had gone david thought himself a very lonely person okay he was just fed up of this loneliness and he decided also to escape from there uh, from here and he was not able to cope up with this sadness theek hai us akela reh reh kar jo uska tension tha ya uski jo bhi sadness thi he was not able to overcome that sadness so he decided to escape from there so david waited till saturday and then he ran away as he planned to take refuge with one of his aunt aunty betsy who lived in and dover his mother uh, david's mother had told he was actually sorry she was miss betsy trotwood was actually the relative of clara so whatever uh, clara has told david about miss betsy he was just uh, recall that where does she live how does she look like wo usko recall karta hai apne mind mein and he decided uh, that on uh, weekend after saturday after coming from the job he decided to run away from there and live with his auntie betsy who would be very loving for with david and he she lives in dover so he decided to take refuge from miss auntie betsy now this were all the um, overview of lesson number 2 and 3 which are coming in your um, mt empty of literature okay if you are having any problem any question up till now you may ask over there and uh, give me the reply of these <coughs> questions i am giving you the names okay ahad you will reply me for question number 1 ahad will reply me for question number 1 saklan question number 2 okay mohammad ali 3 rabia 4 uh, ramiz 5 रमला से मैं काफ़ी क्वेश्चन पूछती रहती हूँ सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू आस फ्रॉम रमला सुमैया यस सुमैया यू विल गिव मी रिप्लाई ऑफ सिक्स ठीक है आयशा हसन सेवन एंड फातमा नदीम फातमा नदीम यू विल आल्सो रिस्पॉन्ड मी फॉर सेवन ठीक है आयशा एंड फातमा बोथ ऑफ यू विल रिस्पॉन्ड मी फॉर सेवन ठीक है नाउ गिव मी द रिस्पॉन्स इन द चैट बॉक्स 
और इफ़ यू आर हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम यू मे आस्क राइट नाउ बिकॉज इट्स बेटर कि आप मुझसे क्वेश्चन कर लें या एज़ कम्पेयर टू दैट कि आप रिस्पॉन्स वहाँ आपका जो एम है उसमें आप गड़बड़ करें ठीक है तो इट्स बेटर कि आप मुझे यहीं पर ही रिस्पॉन्स पूछ लें इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम ओके हलीमा ठीक है एनी बडी एल्स और वेयर आर द रिस्पॉन्सेज ऑफ माई क्वेश्चन प्रेजेंटेशन क्वेश्चन के रिस्पॉन्स हु इज गिविंग मी अहद मोहम्मद अली सफलैन वेयर आर यू Yes, Sumaya. Sumaya is giving me reply for question number six. Where did Mukawas Guru settle there? Yes, very good. Prem out. Very nice. Acha, be careful about the first letter. Should be capital of the names. Okay, these are proper nouns, so the first letter must be capital. Okay, isko zara yad rakhega. Whether in the online quizzes and online test you are not having this problem because I am giving you the. Um, multiple choice question but you should be careful about this david went to dover to met two ke sath meet aata hai bete always do met nahi hota met is a second form and with two whenever we are using two we will use meet first form of the verb okay david went to dover to meet her auntie betsy very good aisha then seven ramiz i asked question number not seven maine aapse seven ka to answer nahi manga tha ramiz se i think three or four ka manga tha Mr. Mikover let the room to David because he needs money. ठीक है. Question number seven. Where did David go after getting a loan in London? No, I am asking that after London. जो लंदन की बात बता रहे हैं आप. ठीक है. After London, Ramiz. After London, वो कहाँ गया था? अच्छा आप five का answer दे रहे हैं. Why did Mr. Mikover let the room to David? Okay, ठीक है. Now it's okay, Ramesh. ठीक है. I think David went London with Pegotti for job. Pegotti के साथ लंदन में जाके job क्यों करेगा? वो no, Radhya, you are wrong. Question number six, you are replying for question number six. Where did the Mikovers go to settle their life? Radhya, read the question first, and then give me the response. Okay, you are wrong. Yes, Halima, you may give me the answer. of question number 3 okay de dijiye yes 7 pick 5 ka answer hai bhakti nahi okay theek hai rani so it's okay acha we are not having so much time okay ek minute reh gaya hai jaldi se answer kijiye it's okay rani just read the question and then give me the response no problem if you are reading it not correctly or if you are not writing properly it's okay take your time ek minute abhi hamare paas hai Will reply me again. Halima is also replying me for question number three. I'm just waiting for her. Do it fast, Betty. We are not having. We are running out of time. Hurry up! Hurry up! चलिए भी आई एम नॉट हैविंग सो मच टाइम ओके नो प्रॉब्लम इफ़ यू आर नॉट राइटिंग सो क्विकली इनशाला वी विल मीट ऑन वेंसडे ठीक है एंड वी विल बी हैविंग अ री इन्फोर्समेंट लेक्चर ऑफ लेक्चर लेसन नंबर फोर ठीक है सो टिल देन वी शुड गो नाउ स्टेयर फोर्थ ओके हलीमा वेरी गुड ठीक है वैसे मैंने दो के आंसर्स पूछे थे टॉमिक रेडर्स भी था इट्स ओके नाउ दिस इज अ टाइम टू गो वी विल मीट इन शेल ऑन वेनजडे टिल देन अल्लाह हाफिज़ टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ बाय बाय